That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Ryan O'Halloran. Jason David Frank. Humberto Ramos. Please do not change channel. Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm GW Pomisher. Thank you so much for logging on and tuning in. We hope you'll subscribe so you can see some amazing artists, authors, filmmakers, musicians, creators of all kinds. We are here hanging with author Siobhan Mullaney. Right? Did I yes, get that right? You did. All right. First try, even. <laughs> I'm going to mess this next one up, though, because she is the author of Mahendi Tides. With well, that part, I got the tides I knew. Mahendi, that's two for two. Yes. Okay. Mahendi Tides. What is this? Mahendi Tides. This yes. is this, this book. This book immerses you in India and Pakistani culture. It's, wow. It's based on a, on a, a journey. It's a coming of age journey to uh, told from the perspective of an American teen. An American as she, teen. As she travels to India and Pakistan. That's actually kind of neat because mm -hmm. I think we we have seen this story told the other exactly. way. Exactly. Probably exactly. hundreds of right. times. So as, a different perspective, an as, unbiased perspective. Yeah, mm -hmm. as as we we see teen journeys told from the perspective of immigrants to right here. Yeah. But we don't often see the yeah. journey the other way. Right. Um, what made you think to do this? So when I was a teenager, I actually went with a family, spent a summer okay. there, and it's just the, the imagery and the, the family tradition and culture, it's just, it stayed with me. I wrote a little bit in college, I put it down, I picked it back up, and then started to write a fictional story around that. So it's- Have you always wanted to write? I, I, I've always been a writer, and I went into science as a career, but I've always been a writer as in well. what science? Uh, chemistry and biology. So <laughs> she's smart. That's why it took a long time to write. She's very, very smart. But you can do both things eventually. I can't so. do both things. <laughs> Not, no. Uh, she can do both things. Um, so you've always been a writer. I have. Um, is this your first book? This is my first book. Your first yes. published book. My Welcome first published to the book. club. Published okay. last November. So as a scientist, chemistry and biology, do you teach? Do you? I do research. Research, okay. But, but scientists are artists well, too. No, <laughs> I was going to say research. It very much it like can being be an author. Yeah. It's creative. Yeah. And you're always begging people for money because you got to. I was going to say you have to sell it. You have to sell you the idea. You have to sell the idea because. And in the end, it's a story. So before you right. started as an author, you already knew you were. It's ramen noodles right. for the next twenty two. The right. first twenty was ramen noodles. The next one is ramen noodles. And it's an escape. You know, there you go. When you're studying you know, physical right. chemistry If or we're lucky, escape. something will happen to retirement that will make <laughs> us all rich. Um, okay, so what did you find most fascinating uh, that drove you to want to tell this story? Like you said, you traveled when you were younger. Right. You kind of took some notes and did some scribbling, and then you came bit. back to it. Um, what, what brought you back to it? What, what was the catalyst? That the the imagery and the the family traditions and how close the family is and it's an ancient and then culture it is and then it's and then i i wrap the story around the relationship of three women in this multicultural relationship because i think it's kind of missing in kind of american culture so there's a hindu american there's a muslim american and then there's an irish american and so it's how they are interacting as you know, one is going through an arranged marriage, and one is going through a loss, and, and so these it's are their three friends. Three friends, and we get and to then, see that. And then in the background, you have the story of the American teen's journey. So it's two. It's a two timeline story, ten years apart. So there's a, a teenage story, and then their women are about twenty in their twenties. But it really, it sounds like it's 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 you, these characters are a catalyst to right. really dive into a culture. Right, and, and then you have the inspiration it. of the travel as they're really navigating. Life and family and tradition. And Travel all this, tends so. to do this because it shows us that our our corner of the world is so small, right? And there's so, so much out there. To so learn. and it's there's this gray grayness as as they're going through all of the you know navigating these these issues in life. And then of course India is so colorful, and there's you know the color red is very 
prominent, and that's where the Mahindi ties, which is the dye that, you know, the intricate designs they put on their hands is the Mahindi. I, I did not Coming know that. Coming from the henna dye. I learned something new. You so. learned something new. <laughs> we learned already. We haven't even opened the book yet. Imagine what's so. going to happen when you buy that from Amazon or wherever. There are going to be links down below. You'll be able to file. So when you're writing this book, um, books are like our children. Right. We put a lot of heart and soul into them. You put a lot of yourself in a, in a very big right, passionate right. project. Uh, favorite moment, favorite memory, something that popped up while you were writing the book that just said, yes, this is why I'm writing the book. There's, well, there's a special character that I kept, so it's fictionalized, mm -hmm. but there's a grandmother character okay. that was really special. And so um, I kept a little bit of that, preserved that, that relationship. And so this and see now they she, got that because everybody knows grandma's universal they're special and grandma's universally she didn't speak special. any english whatsoever and so but there's this bond with the character the the teenager and mm -hmm. this grandmother and so i kind of you know that That's was kind a of special a good thing. moment for you yeah and then the, yeah um in your own travels most right. interesting place you've gotten to travel to uh croatia and macedonia and that area of the world Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've had a good opportunity to travel, and it's that's what I love. It's like, it's how travel shapes your perspective and friendship, and that's what kind of got me back to this book. I, I was very that. fortunate as a young man. I went to a, a boarding school, uh, an international boarding school, and um, it wasn't. It literally wasn't until I was an adult person that I realized that everybody else didn't right see, see right. all of that. And, uh, and then I did some traveling on my own and, and realized that how much more there was to that as well. It, it does shape a perspective because right. you, don't, yeah, you don't realize how limited your daily perspective is until you step out of it and you see it without those limitations. Um, so are you working on anything new? Are you gonna keep writing? I'd like to keep writing because yeah. this was this took a while, and now yeah. I'm yeah. you know going through the social media marketing, and that takes some uh, time and effort there. But um, yeah. there's a you know there's a lot you see in your first book like oh, I could do that better. I could do kind of, and I think you learn about your um, your uh, audience you as well. Indie published, small press published. This is Morgan and James, so an Morgan entrepreneurial okay, yep. publisher, mm -hmm. and and so they've done a, a great job, and um, yeah, it's gotten it out there. It got me on a timeline because. I think I, you know, I'm a rewriter, rewriter, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's never, it, 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 like I said, it's your baby, you're building yeah. something. And so every time you go back, there's something, oh no, and then, right. oh no. And then it takes an editor uh, or a publisher right. to kind of look at you and say, come on, you've yeah. had this thing for 10 it's, years. That was my husband, he's like, it's going out. Yeah. You can, you you know, do it in the next book. This you is can the first do it, book. I can do it, Just they can do it, it but somebody's pushing publish right now. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Well, congratulations and welcome Thanks. to the Thanks. to That's the exciting. author's community. Yeah. Um, what we what we like to do here is, you know, we're a YouTube show. This uh -huh. is the internet. Yeah. I need a headline. We need to draw people in. So they go out to the internet and they find personality quizzes and sometimes just random Facebook posts. Right. And they bring me interesting, bizarre, weird <laughs> things the internet seems to want to know. Sometimes it's ludicrous. You're a scientist, you get that. Yeah. You ask ludicrous questions hoping to get relevant answers. The internet asks ludicrous questions we're hoping to get ludicrous answers. And we need a headline, so we're gonna look up there and see what she found. You've been given an elephant, a zebra, a hippo. You can't give it away or sell it. So what would you do with it? Well, first of all, we have to pick an animal. I'm gonna be an elephant, a hippo, or a zebra. Which one do you want? The elephant. The elephant. She's gonna have an elephant. You can't sell it or give it away. What are you gonna do with it? There's a thing in the book where she has a dream of coming back from India that she's riding an elephant through All New right. York City. I do <laughs> not know how that happened. Uh, you managed to actually make that question relevant. <laughs> no, actually, no. She managed to make that question relevant. So. Thank you. That was good. That makes me feel less, less silly for asking it. Um, so, what's next for you? What's next? What 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 are you what 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 are you currently working on as a scientist? Uh, I do. I work. I'm biology a biologist, and, chemistry. and I look at what, diseases what kind of and how compounds can affect diseases and turn into new medicines. So you were supposed to make that sound so much more interesting. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> it is interesting. It is. Disease it is. in a dish. 
you, you create the disease in the dish. That, that's my you kitchen You find the sink. medicine. <laughs> Liver disease. Just that's not. That's mean. not my. I hope. Um, okay. So, uh, where are you going to be going? Are you going to be doing more signings up the road? Are you going to be? Oh, so traveling? this is my first. Uh, my first main signing. This is your first big signing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Good. I mean. Yeah. Wouldn't have nice. Did you get to talk to some more. readers? A few. I talked to a lot more authors and readers. But, this is a great um, networking opportunity. Yeah, to become and a part I think of that's right. Which is, right. which is, which is probably half of the reason that, that I think the creative community comes together is right. so that we can network and meet the people we want to yeah. meet for the next one. Um, but they had they had some you know good reader response I saw about midday, but then everything yeah. sort of was just right. us. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Um, we're glad you were here, and she's going to hold that card up, and I'm going to have to say goodbye. And <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. But first, I'm going to thank our partners and our friends at Famous Faces and Funnies, Something You Need Magazine, Krypton Radio, Off the Chain Radio with author Yvonne Mason, Space Coast Comics, and Asylum Convention Entertainment Services. These are the people who share our videos all over social media and the rest of the World Wide Web. We hope that you're going to share them too. Remember, subscribe, log on, tune in. See who we're hanging with next.